guys, here's a quick lesson for you on uh, Oasis's wonderful uh, classic 90s ballad. Love it or loathe it, um, it's a great tune to learn and um, it's a great song, let's face it. Um, so it's a good opportunity to talk about right hand technique, um, it's a good opportunity to talk about rhythm. Um, I'm going to just take you through the intro, which is basically the verse section today, which consists of four chords, which I'm going to show you fast, and then I'm going to show you the rhythm, and then hopefully by the end you'll be able to put it all together. You need to remember to put a capo on at second fret, okay, and all the chord shapes that I'm going to be giving you, and the fret references are bearing in mind that you've got a capo on second fret. All right, do remember that, otherwise it gets really complicated. So here's your first chord, it is an E minor seven, and the good news is your third and fourth finger are gonna basically stay on for the entire thing, right? My third finger goes third fret second string, my little finger goes um, third fret uh, first string. You're then gonna put middle finger on the uh, second fret fourth string, and your first finger on the fifth string second fret, all right? So that's an E minor seven, hopefully a shape you've played before. All right, now the second chord is a G. You're gonna move your middle finger where it was up to sixth fret, um, sorry, third fret on the sixth string. All right, that's a f nice full G chord. And again, notice how my third and fourth fingers are just staying on there. So it's E minor seven, over to a big G. Your next chord is a D sus four, okay? So to get that, I'm gonna move a little closer. You're gonna move this first finger down to the second fret of the third string and get rid of your middle finger altogether, okay? And that is just four strings you're strumming there. D, D sus four. Okay, and then the final chord is an A7 sus four. You're gonna just move that first finger here, up vertically up a string to the fourth string on the second fret, and you're gonna strum five strings. All right, those are your four chords, all right? So it's E minor seven, G, uh, D, D sus four, and A7 sus4. Those are your four chords, all right? So get those down. Next thing to do is play them two beats each, and it sounds a little bit like this. You basically get one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? So you're basically just taking each chord, playing it for two beats, um, and that's a bar, so uh, four beats four beats per bar, um, two chords per bar, etc. okay? So just, if you can't change the chords that quick, be honest with yourself. Um, you need to practice them a bit more before you attempt the rhythm rhythm thing because it's just going to make things even more difficult. Okay, so uh, the rhythm. What I would uh, what I suggest when you're learning rhythm is that you try to adapt some way of phonetically remembering the rhythm, whether it's with down and ups or it's with some phrase you come up because. Ultimately, we can talk about crotchets and quavers, and I can certainly do that for you, but I think it's a lot easier if you can um, initiate the rhythm by hearing it, because essentially everything we hear, it's a lot easier to play. If you can hear it and you can clap it, then you can probably play it. Um, that's generally the rule that I like to live by. So we're gonna talk about what the right hand does. So on the E minor seven chord, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go down, 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 up. Okay, that's what happens on the E minor seven chord. Bearing in mind the second beat, actually, if we're being really strict, he just hits the low E string. Okay, so it goes down, low E string, and then down, down, up. So it's down, E string. And that's your first part. Internalize that. Dun, 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 da, da. Okay, and try to follow the right hand um, the guidance. Down, 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 up. Okay, now the next part onto the G, we're actually going to start with an up stroke. Up, down, 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 up. So we've got down. Change up, down, 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 up. Quite tricky. Down, 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 down. Up. Change up, down, down, down. Up. So take those individually. Down, 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 up. Break. Up, down, 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 up. And then try to paste them together, basically. Okay, because it is it is a little bit harder than it looks. Because you've got to if, again, if you don't, if you can't do the chord change quick enough, it's going to be even harder. All right. So that's down, 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 up. Up, down, 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 up. Okay? So that's your first bar, it's not too bad. Next bar, you kind of have to amalgamate the two chords together a little bit. So I'll play it in its entirety. From the D sus4, we're gonna go um, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. Okay? So I'll break that down for you. On the D sus4, you're gonna go down, up, down, 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 and then you're gonna change on the up of the, um, you're gonna change chord on the next up. So it's down, up, down, 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 change. Down, up, down, 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 up. Okay? <laughs> and then we'll finish it off. So it's down, up, down, 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 up. Up, up, down, up, down, up. So it's up, 
up. So on the A7 sus4 we got up, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Say it, clap it, tap it, hit it, whatever you have to do, say it phonetically, you're so much more likely to internalize the rhythm and be able to play it if you can say it and you can hear what you're trying to achieve. It's absolutely crucial. So uh, one more time on that bar and then I'll do the whole thing for you. So from the D, we're going down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up again. And down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up again. And down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, okay? Now, one thing uh, is probably we're not gonna delve into at the moment, but it is keeping this right hand kind of doing what I call ghost strokes, well, what a lot of people call ghost strokes, uh, throughout the whole thing. You'll notice, hopefully, most of the time my hand is doing that. Um, that is something to work on, and it makes a huge difference. Um, if your hand isn't doing that, I urge you to try to um, practice this, this notion of keeping the hand. It keeps time, it keeps the tempo, and it makes these kind of up strokes and down strokes feel a lot more natural, rather than constantly trying to move your hand in the correct position, all right? So I'm gonna just run through that briefly a couple more times, um, and, and then hopefully that's enough for you guys to work on. So um, from the E minor, we're gonna go down, 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 up, G, up, down, down, D, down, up, down, 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 A, A, E, down, down, up, G, D, down, up, down, 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 A, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, it's quite hard work saying and playing it. Hope that's given you enough of a, um, enough to work on, guys. Uh, great tune to learn. Just take your time. Make sure you've got the changes right. Make sure you watch out for the kind of right hand indications. And above all, try to say, clap or tap, anything to do with the rhythm. It, I guarantee it will make a huge difference to you. Cool. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.